I'm Kermit the Frog. Get it? Hey, I'm Amy and welcome or welcome back. And today I am finally checking off a movie I should have seen 20 years ago, The Muppet Movie. I have a somewhat good excuse for why I never saw this movie as a kid. We were a Disney family, so we really only watched Disney movies or the Disney Channel, sometimes Nickelodeon growing up. Never really got into The Muppets, but I know I would probably like this movie going into it because anything else I have seen that is Muppets related, I have really, really enjoyed. And 10 minutes in, I already knew this was like going to be one of my favorites. A quick summary of the Muppet movie is basically about Kermit the Frog leaving his swamp to make it big in Hollywood and meeting all of his Muppet pals along the way. On his way to Hollywood, Kermit has to outrun the evil Doc Hopper, who wants to make Kermit his spokes frog for his chain of frogs legs restaurants. Like I said at the top, I enjoyed this movie so much. From the first 10 minutes, I already knew this movie was going to be my favorite. Looking at the cast even before I even watched this, like all of the amazing cameos in this, I was so on board already. I mean, you can't go wrong with the Muppets, plus some of the most amazing minds in comedy and film history, including Dom DeLuise, Madeline Kahn, Carol Kane, Bob Hope, Steve Martin, Mel Brooks, Loris Leachman, Richard Pryor, and Orson freaking Wells. This was a dream movie for me. I love cameos and all like comedy and all that stuff like I know I talk about how much I love biopics but I love comedies even more they are just some of the best movies like I would rather watch a comedy and laugh no matter what I'm feeling than watch a sad romantic comedy or just a sad drama movie any time of day like the Muppet movie is exactly what I'm looking for in a movie and it is probably one of my favorites, if not my new favorite comedy. And I mean, I'm not a musical person either, but I love all of the songs in this movie. They're so catchy and fun, but even kind of the sad songs that they sing when they're down at the dumps are still very cute and adorable because a Muppet is singing it and it still makes me feel happy and warm inside. The Rainbow Connection is a song that has a very special place in my heart. It is one of, if not the first song I learned how to play on the piano way back when, when I was actually learning how to play the piano. And for the longest time, it was really the only thing I solidly knew about this movie. I had heard some quotes and seen some scenes from this movie, even if I didn't quite make the Rainbow Connection. Bad joke. Sorry. But I think what sets this movie over the top for me in the fact that I love it so much is how much it feels like a Mel Brooks film. I don't know if this is the fact that Madeline Kahn reprises for a few seconds her role from Blazing Saddles Buy me a drink? or if it's the Mel Brooks cameo. Put him in the chair, clamp on the terminal, drop the electronic yamaka and throw what we call in German, your switch. <laughs> but it just has this Mel Brooks feel to it for me. As with most Muppet productions, it has this feel, but I think it feels very more outright like a Mel Brooks movie in the Muppet movie. It gets very slapsticky. It has great physical comedy and some visual gags. It's very meta that gives it the feel that's mostly associated with a Mel Brooks movie, just without the overt sexual innuendos that you wouldn't find in a kid's movie. I feel like this has been a very quick video because I already am at the clip. There wasn't anything I had bad to say about this movie. It's just such a fun, happy family movie that I need to go find as soon as possible because I want to watch this movie over and over and over again. The clip I wanted to use was, of course, the Rainbow Connection because I love that song so much, but I know I would get a copyright claim on my video faster than an animal could kill a drum solo. Drums! So the clip I chose is... Hey there, wanna lift? Oh, no thanks. I'm on my way to New York City to try to break into public television. Good luck. And that is all I have for the Muppet movie. As always, these are just my opinions, but I would love to know yours in the comments down below. And let me know who your favorite Muppet is. My personal favorite is Fozzie Bear. If you want to know which films I have already watched or just follow my progress, there's a link to a Google Doc with all of the films I have watched in the description box. This is my last 1001 movie challenge video for 2017, and I wanted to do something very different for my first one of 2018, 
and I look back on all the ones I have done since I started this challenge and they're all very modern-ish. I mean, most of them are from the 1970s or above four, with the exception of High Noon, and they all are either American or English speaking movies. So I decided for my first film of the new year, I would do a film that is from the 1920s. It is one of the movies that pretty much brought our concept of storytelling to film. And that is a movie from the USSR in 1929, The Man with a Movie Camera. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Whoever you are, let me know who you are in the comments down below and let's be friends. If you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe if you're new because I talk movies old and new every week and I would love to have a conversation with you guys about it. So stick around and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!